Welcome to The Bump and what is shaping up to be the most chaotic SummerSlam week in WWE history. I'm Byron Saxton. And I'm Kayla Braxton. Less than a week before defending the undisputed WWE Universal Championship against Cody Rhodes in a brand versus brand main event at SummerSlam, Roman Reigns shocked the world and surrendered his title. The head of the table said that he's been beating up Cody for years now and he has nothing more to prove. Now he's taking a sabbatical in Hollywood to show his cousin, The Rock, that he will be a bigger superstar there too. With SummerSlam in disarray and the draft set to begin the night after, Triple H called for a one-night WWE Universal title tournament with selections from the GMs of both Raw and SmackDown. Raw GM William Regal named Cody as Raw's first entrant and said he was confident the title would be coming to Raw. But SmackDown's brand new general manager, The Miz, didn't find this awesome. He called the attempt to take his WWE Universal Championship to Raw nothing short of theft. And The Miz is in it to win it for his brand. He's sending a team of killers to bring that title home. Let's take a look. Kayla, we know what Braun Strowman brings to a fight. AJ Styles is always a threat. If you ask me, though, KO is the man to beat in this whole tournament. He's been hungry for the opportunity. Reigns has left him here. That sounds like he was waiting for crumbs from Roman's table, Byron. William Regal's entries are no slouches. Finn Balor was the first Universal Champion. Much of the WWE Universe believes this is Gunter's time. And Cody Rhodes has been looking to finish the story for a while now. That last slot though, Kayla, what is Regal's strategy there? William Regal still has one foot in developing young superstars. Raw's GM is going to make a match on the SummerSlam kickoff show for that last slot in the tournament. Your guy, Kevin Owens. I mean, I wouldn't call him my guy. Your guy is not going to know his opponent until the winner of that match and neither will we. Don't blow yourself up, young man. You're apt to have a long night. Mr. Regal. Coming in early to help the ring crew, running the ropes while everyone else is still at the hotel, it makes an impression. Thanks. I do my best. Do you? What do you mean? Do you do your best? Apply yourself. You sound like my old math teacher. Well, you came to Raw more than a year ago now and you've yet to make much of an impression. No titles, no great rivalries, a win-loss record with just enough victories to fly under the radar. A uh, great pep talk? Let me finish. I see your potential. The question is, if you're ready to fulfill it. I'm ready. Good, because as you know, there's a tournament for the WWE Universal Championship tonight. The final slot for Raw will be decided in a match on the kickoff show. One of the combatants will be Dominic Mysterio. That young man has a future, a legacy, a name. The other competitor is you. Thank you, sir. So much. I'll bring my best. Good man. See you do. You're the long shot of this whole night, my boy. You're the dark horse. Beat the odds.
Oh, good. There you are. I'm Troy Simpkin. Associate, but soon to be full-fledged producer. Uh, Troy, we've met several times. You even borrowed my toothbrush once. <laughs> Ribbing you, bro! Anyway, just wanted to make sure you had the lay of the land. I mean, you're already booked tonight, but normally these situations are a good chance to check your social media, talk to other superstars, mess with your attire, all kinds of things. I've been on Raw for a while now. I know how these things work. Okay, fine. Just trying to be helpful. Thanks, but I need to focus on my match. Good idea, since the kickoff show is starting soon. Oh, and I wanted to let you know that we won't be needing you for anything after the match, so feel free to head back to the hotel. Why would I go back to the hotel? I expect to win and keep fighting. Of course you do. Well, good luck. Well, look who it is. If it isn't SummerSlam's Dark Horse. That nickname is sticking. Good times. Good times? Is Raw trying to steal SmackDown's WWE Universal title? Between us, what is Regal really up to? Um, giving me an opportunity to win the WWE Universal Championship? He put you in a qualifying match. You think that's some kind of vote of confidence? Come on, don't be naive. I'm not. What are you getting at? You know he has all his royal eggs in the Cody Rhodes basket. He's just trying to set the American Nepo baby up to win. I'll tell you what, the draft starts tomorrow. You beat Dominic, maybe I bring you over to SmackDown in the supplemental. We'll make a big announcement on social media. Oh, you'll post about me? For real? Why would you want me in the tournament instead of Dom anyway? Because I want the WWE Universal title on my show, where it belongs. And I am 100% sure KO will beat you. Coming to SmackDown? Man, that is a very generous offer and a wicked smart strategy, Miz. I just, and I don't want to overstep here, but I have just one little thing I'm bumping on. What's that? It's just that I would rather have my fingernails pulled out with needle nose pliers than ever work for an entitled, condescending reality show hack like you. I promise that you will regret that. Miz, this right now, this conversation, talking to you, that's what I regret. It's the so-called dark horse of the tournament. The following contest is a qualifying match for the Universal Championship Tournament. Making his way to the ring from Denton, Texas, weighing in at 172 pounds. Let's not get ahead of ourselves calling this guy the dark horse of the tournament. He's not even officially in it yet. I have to agree with you, Corey. Winning the WWE Universal Championship Tournament will be difficult enough. But to have to win an extra qualifying match first makes it nearly impossible. Let's go! 
It's time to find out who will claim the final spot in the WWE Universal Championship Tournament. The second generation superstar looking to carve his own path. It's Dominic Mysterio. And his opponent representing the Judgment Day from San Diego, California, weighing in at 200 pounds. Dirty. Dominic looks ready to go, but I've heard some rumblings backstage that he's not too thrilled about being placed in this qualifying match. Coming in complaining is the quickest way to sabotage your own chances. Dom needs to put aside his grievances and concentrate on the task at hand. And a moment that can define a career, the road to glory begins right here. One of these men will walk out of this qualifying match with a ticket to the WWE Universal Championship Tournament. And we know who it's gonna be, Cole. Dirty Dominic Mysterio. He's a hard man who did hard time. Hard time? He spent one night in jail. Show a little respect to Dominic's opponent. You really think this guy has got the stuff to follow in Roman Reigns' footsteps, Saxton? He's been called the Dark Horse for a reason. Oh, no. Oh, uh, stop right to the gut. Ooh, double axe handle. And Dominic's resolve might be wavering here. Dominic needs to reassert himself back in this match. And that was an efficient form of offense with that move. And that might shape Mysterio's focus. Oh, unloading a big kick to the back. Kick to the back. Oh, oh, man, a little extra luster behind that kick. Kick to the back. Some serious damage to the arm being inflicted here. That's how you wear down your opponent. Crank in the head. He's falling victim here to a charge of attacks. Yeah, he's really being put to the test. Quick sidestep by Dominic. Quick reflexes from Dominic. High impact crossbody. Man, what a hit. Ah, oh, Dominic gets cut off. And landing with the double axe handle. Oh, that'll send a shock down your spine. We might be close to the end. Yeah, this match has not been kind to him. Able to reverse that one. Big boots. And will this be it? Squeeze that shoulder out. So close. Jarring impact. I don't know if Dominic can withstand much more of this. Yeah, Dominic needs to find an opening fast. Cover. Is that enough? 
And the count doesn't even begin. I'm having a hard time believing that one. And they failed to hit the mark. He's heading up top. Thinking big. Perched up top. Oh, the high risk doesn't pay off. Taking a chance, and it didn't pay off at yeah. all. Showing off those Lucha Libre influences. He's returning fire. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. What a punch! And misses on the springboard. Vicious double axe handle. And Dominic could be moments away from doom. Perched on the shoulders. Oh! Feast your eyes. Can that finish Dominic? Oh, win. Wow, he's going to celebrate all night long. Here is your winner. We now know who will fill that final spot in the WWE Universal Championship Tournament. What a win. Impressive, but somehow he's going to have to find a way to string together three more victories before the night's over.